In this video, I'm going to show you how to do image maps. I have an image that I got from Pixabay. It's pretty good for an image map. I'm going to have to add some things for it to work here. So I'm going to add a couple of divs, a few divs here. I'm going to add uh, with an ID. And this is just because it's going to take you to an on-page link. It's not meaningful. It's just to show you how it works. So you'll need to add these. And these are based on the contents of the image. And then I have a mouse. OK, so now I have these IDs that I can then link to. They're on page bookmarks. And I'm going to create an image map where I will make this clickable. It'll go to headphones. This will be clickable. It will go to keyboard. This will be clickable. It will go to mouse. And this will be clickable. And it will go to the hard drive. I do not like image maps. Um, there was a time and a place where they were frequently used. There is still some very specific uses for them infrequently. But I prefer to do all of my images based on a percentage size. And I'm also planning for people who are using a phone. And I don't think this is the best way to do navigation on a phone screen. I don't think it's super user friendly for people who are blind. Um, there are specific instances where you might want to use it. So you're asking, wondering yourself, if you don't think they're useful, why are you teaching this? I will tell you why. Because it's on the certification test. Yep, pretty much. That's it. So I will show you how to create them. Um, the hardest part, in my opinion, would be to determine the exact pixels for each one. But there's a website to teach you that. So you can just do a search. I'm putting a link in the assignment, too. And so we have our free online image map generator. I think this is the one I used before. And this is the image that I think is best for this. And now we can create it. And I'm going to show you the first line of code. I am not going to do all of it for you because I don't want you to just copy and paste my code. I'm going to show you how to do two pieces. I'm going to show you how to do uh, the keyboard. So we've got rectangle link. And we're going to do an on-page link. That's what the hashtag does. It takes us to the ID to that bookmark. And I'm going to call it keyboard. And I'm going to double check that because always, always test. Yep, that's exactly the way I named it. Title, keyboard, target. Uh, we can just leave that as the default. I am dyslexic, so you'll see me make typos like that all the time. And now I'm going to do show you how to do a different shape. I'm going to do the circular shape. And I'm going to click here and click here. It gives me my circle. I forgot to actually put in the code. And so that's going to be I can leave that. And then I need to click back here and click here. If you click in two, two spots, it'll let you put in your shape. Now you need to finish on your own a hard drive in the mouse. And so I can grab all this. And I will be able to put 
to my image map. Now, problem with this one is I need to put in the full path. Got that. Now I'm going to test. I don't think I really need to do anything in the style sheet on that one. I accidentally shut it. Takes me to headphones. Takes me to the keyboard. And that's all I want to do. You'll have to finish with the hard drive and the mouse on your own. As you see, I have not completed those, but it's fairly straightforward and easy to do. You've seen the pattern. Go ahead and complete that.